Alrighty, Lumberjacks and Lumberjills, buckle up because this is a speculation video. Again, I'm going to use the word speculation. So for those of you that get triggered by my mere speculation of this coaster, please calm down. I'm not saying it's going to be a Giga coaster for sure. I'm just going over the facts that happen to be in front of me. So um, today is the final day. The last piece of the puzzle we needed was filled in for us to come up with an estimate um, for this, let's call it dive coaster lift hill. So um, with knowing the location of the plate, so the support beam for the lift hill that will connect to the ground, we now can measure the exact length of the lift hill. I know where it ends and I know where it starts. Um, so the fact is this looks like it's shaping up to be um, Canada's Wonderland's biggest project yet. Largest investments, period. Um, and I'm going to say that for several reasons. So we now know the Whitewater Canyon Forest and the Timberwolf Forest, if you were watching my last video, are going to house a lot of theming, a pond, and the coaster. Who thought the coaster was heading over there? Does anyone remember um, months ago when I said, okay, the coaster's not heading into Whitewater Canyon? Well, here we are. The coaster's heading into Whitewater Canyon by the looks of it. Again, speculation. So here's that plate I was able to measure. It's 90 meters. The length of our lift hill is 90 meters. For those of you that want to go do the math yourself, um, the only thing we're missing is the angle of ascent. So we tried to estimate angle of ascent based off of the tilt of that plate itself, um, which you'll see in a bit. We come up with a few measurements for you to kind of go with um, what you would like to think the lift hill is going to be height wise. All I can say is it's going to be a massive dive coaster, a massive dive coaster. No understatement there. Um, so go in the or no overstatement for those of you that don't think it's going to be massive. Um, now let's talk about this. So Val Raven's total area mass, total distance, total area, um, is about 1,942 feet, let's say, 1,943 feet. Um, that's not a lot of space. So Valraven has an angle of ascent at 47 degrees. So remember that, an angle of ascent on the lift hill at 47 degrees. I'm guessing that it has a larger ascent or a larger angle of ascent than ours will based off of the little amount of space that it needed to fit in. I don't think ours is going to be a 47 degree angle of ascent merely because that would mean it would be much larger than a Giga Coaster if that was the case. So <laughs> it's definitely not going to have a 47 degree angle lift hill. It's going to be much less. We have a lot more space to work with with this coaster as well. So it's definitely has the ability to have a less of an angle of ascent than that to Valraven. Um, and, uh, a lot more area to work with in terms of length of coaster as well, which we're seeing with the columns and how many there are. You already know that our coaster is going to be longer. So again, the length of our lift hill is 90 meters. So let's get right into it. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. We've been working on this for some time. Eastern Thrills has done the renderings for this. So please say thank you to Eastern Thrills in the comments, um, but also comment down below what you're thinking. Um, which one of these next three in the next clip do you think it's going to be for height? So the three angles we went with for the um, angle of ascent on our coaster are 35 degrees, 40 degrees, and 45 degrees ang of an angle for our coaster. So many tongue twisters in here. Um, so I'm going to say 35 is going to be the least amount uh, of angle that the coaster will have on the lift hill for ascent. Um, I can't see it being any less than that. I really can't see it being 35 degrees either. That is your typical. In fact, some hypers and gigas have are like have a much larger angle of ascent than that as well. So that's really low in the spectrum, but we wanted to include it to be safe. We wanted to have that 35 degree angles of ascent just to play it safe. And for the people that are like, no, you're not getting a tall dive coaster, blah, blah, blah. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Again, I totally understand your hate. Drag me down below, comment down below. This isn't going to be a giga dive. I love it. This is a speculation video. I love all sorts of conversation, devil's advocates, anything. Bring it at me. Like the whole point of me doing this YouTube channel and these speculation videos is to have these conversations. So discuss, comment down below, agree, disagree, all of it. I'm for it. Um, so we have the 35 degree angle for those that don't think it's going to be a Giga Dive Coaster or a much larger than Val Raven Dive Coaster. And then here is my perspective. I think it's going to be between 40 and 45 degrees of an angle of ascent. I think 45 is pushing it as well. I don't think ours really needs to be 45 degrees angle. 
I'm thinking it's gonna be 40 degree angle. And I think our tunnel is about 50 feet deep. So hear me out here. Our tunnel is in a valley and it is at the bottom of a pond. So I estimate the pond to be at about a 10 foot depth and the tunnel to be about 30 to 40 feet deep, which brings it to 50 feet deep approximately. So let's say 40 to 50 feet deep. Here we go. So keep that in mind, the depth of the tunnel. So the 35 degree angle lift hill being 90 meters long would give you a height of about 208 feet tall. The angle of ascent, uh, 40 degrees angle, sorry, a 40 degree angle of ascent on a 90 meter long lift hill would give you 255 feet tall dive coaster. The angle of ascent of 45 degree angle, blah, 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 an angle of ascent of 45 degrees would, with a length of 90 meters would give you 286 feet. Which one of these do you think you guys are going to get at Canada's Wonderland in 2019? There are so many tongue twisters here. I can't even. I'm like repeating myself over and over with these quotes to make get the point across. Um, so sorry if I'm screwing up. Do you think we're going to have a 208 foot tall um, dive coaster? Meaning it'll probably be around 240 feet dive. Or uh, do you think we're going to have a 255 feet tall um, dive coaster with approximately a 300 foot dive or do you think we're gonna have a 286 foot dive coaster with more than a giga dive slightly more um i really am thinking we're aiming at the 255 feet if any of you remember my videos like a month ago the original rumor for some odd reason was 255 feet and it's weird that our math is adding up to 255 feet for this dive coaster so i'm really starting to think it's to be 255 feet and the tunnel is probably between 40 and 50 feet deep um, so we're going to look at like a giga drop. So very interesting. What do you guys think? Which one of these do you think is our dive coaster height and how long of a drop do you think our coaster is going to have? What do you estimate that tunnel to be in terms of depth? Um, so again, back to this whole discussion, we have track arriving this week or next week. We have footers poured. We have track in the tunnel. We have the tunnel done. We have theming going up and we have footers and markers for like ponds theming, we have service roads being dug out, electrical is done, water work is done, lighting is up. What is going on? What are they building? What is going on with this dive coaster? It should only take six to seven months to build this coaster. If we look back at Val Raven, six to seven months to build this coaster. What is going on with Canada's Wonderland's dive coaster? Is it going to be a giga dive coaster? Is it going to be a little bit larger than Val Raven with extensive theming? What does Canada's Wonderland have up its sleeve for 2019? Do you think we might see something more than a like just a dive coaster? Are you looking at maybe a restaurant in the area? Maybe? Are we looking at themed buildings? Are we looking at something like <gasps> Frontier? Frontier Canada? What could be going on? There's so many possibilities and it's all so intriguing. So again, I am predicting a 255 foot dive coaster that will drop deep into the pond and come out the other end with a drop of about a 300 foot drop. Um, based off of the evidence, it's really starting to add up. I get it. I get it. If you really don't agree with me, that's totally fine. I wouldn't either. Um, let's wait for more evidence. Like, I mean, the announcement is about one month and 28 days away or 29 days away, something like that. We're getting really close. Um, I just want to solve this thing before announcement. That is my goal. I want you guys to know every little bit of detail before this coaster is announced on August 16th. Um, and I can't wait for the teasing campaign to start. I mean, it is so weird that track is arriving and teasing hasn't started yet. Um, but again, as you know it, I have no life. I will be at the park every day. I will keep my eyes out for any little changes. Um, and I keep talking to park officials every day I'm there. I like love having the conversations I'm having with them. I see different people from different areas all the time and we have great conversations. None of them are dropping me hints. They're leaving me dry. Oh, how rude. No, I'm kidding. Um, that's their job. They can't do any of that. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. As usual, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, stay tuned for our rendering of what this coaster is going to look like. We're putting a lot of attention to detail into this. Um, and for those of you who want those extra sneak peeks and those early sneak peeks to the Canada's Wonderland's 2019 announcement and my uh, adventures at the park, subscribe to me on Patreon and become a Patreon for a dollar a month. Have a good one, guys. Bye.